All right, guys, we're here for round number one of this week's Popper Ponderings. We're playing Artifact, Aether Artifact Amigos. We cannot keep this hand. We cannot keep this hand. We can keep this hand, though. I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep that one on top, I think. So, again, my name is Austin. This is Popper Ponderings. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video. And again, if you do enjoy my content, please make sure to check out my Patreon. It is just in the description below. Play out the Ancient Den. Maybe that was incorrect. Maybe we want to hold off for the Reckless Fireweaver, but I'm not liking our chances either way, especially on this Mulda 5. And what are we up against here? Swiftwater Cliff, Simic, Simic, Signet, and a Shimmering Grotto. At least he's got the correct art on Shimmering Grotto. Correct art there, correct art there. All right, good job. It's another Ancient Den. So that's like a decent draw. I guess we didn't get punished for playing the first Ancient Den. There's a Reckless Fireweaver. I'm going to pass the turn here. Being two cards behind is definitely not the best. Oh, so it is Tron. I figured it was Tron, but, you know, them's the break sometimes. Depending on what he has here, another Reckless Fireweaver. I think I just want to get the Salivating Gremlins into play. If we're going to win this game, that's how it's going to be. It's going to be, you know, hopefully getting in a big hit with Salivating Gremlins. It does not get countered, which is nice. I, I like this card a lot. It is very powerful. The problem is, though, it just gets killed by everything three mana seed oracle forbidden alchemy main phase forbidden alchemy looking for i assume another tron piece here so there is a world where we have a very good turn here put mnemonic wall forbidden alchemy electrostatic bolt capsize in the graveyard galvanic blast is okay Could just attack for seven here and put him to twelve. I don't think that's what I want to do though. Put another reckless fire weaver. So what are we hoping for? It's another forbidden alchemy. Okay, this is all good for us. We need him to kind of dirtle as long as possible. Maybe play like another Signet or something. Because if he taps low again. Yeah, so I'm definitely, I think I'm going to definitely rally the Peasants here. Being able to get in this free shot. Especially if we can draw like an Artifact Land. Another Salivating Gremlins is good. But we get in for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 here. He goes to 6. And then we're like a Galvanic Blast plus an attack away from just killing him. So I think I'm just going to do that. Like one artifact plus like yeah, we're actually one artifact away from killing him. At that point, if he can't kill our fire weavers, so I think that's what has to happen here. Blue green, seed oracle. Hopefully, hopefully he just dirtles around here. Oh no, pulse of uh, That puts a. Sticking our plant into Tron with double Prophetic Prism, which is kind of bad. It's also using 9th edition Tron pieces, which is also bad. Luckily, all our guys having 3 toughness is good, because this means you can only roll with Thunder for 5, and you can only actually kill one guy, which is nice. So depending on what he has here, we definitely need an artifact. Hopefully it's something like... What is this? We really want it to be a Great Furnace. That's like probably the best draw on our deck, I think. Muddle Drifter Evoked. Okay. Oh, so he ghostly flickered. Okay. 
And he has a removal spell. That's not good. Okay. Aether Chaser is not an artifact. This is really frustrating because we're actually so close to killing him. But now he's in a stabilize. Hmm. Hmm. So we definitely just attack here. Just play Salivating Gremlins, I think. Or maybe we just play Aether Chaser. Hmm. No, it's probably just Salivating Gremlins. If we draw another land, then we get to go Aether Chaser plus Journey to know our next turn. Yeah, it's probably just Salivating Gremlins. Uses our mana a little better, too. Hmm, that's incorrect. For mulling to five, we were very close to winning this game. What is this? Ten mana. Assume some of this is getting filtered. I assume this is just rolling earth could thunder our team. Which would be bad. It's been a lot of uh, a lot of Tron popping up on Magic Online recently. It's kind of unfortunate because this deck is abysmal to play against. You ever you ever like go to like Matt? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, whatever. You ever like go to Magic tournaments and uh, you can just like spot the Tron players? I feel like they like they all look the same. They all kind of God, they got uh, they're just yeah, they're. They're just not a lot of fun to be around. They're like combo players, but... They're all the... You know what? Tron players are the worst part of combo players and the worst part of control players. So you know what? I just want to do as little as possible. And I want to hope... That these undercosted, super busted mythics are good enough. Because if they aren't, I'm probably going to lose. But let's be real. They're going to be good enough. <laughs> no, usually I just hate on blue-black control. But uh, you know, we've, played enough, we've played enough against Tron these past couple weeks that... Uh, Really starting to become a stitch in my craw. They're also happy. They also happen to be really good against our sweet popper ponderings decks. Because our sweet popper ponderings decks usually tend to be a little slow and a little underpowered, and that's usually a not a very good combination. <laughs> not a very good combination for uh, for beating Tron. We are essentially dead here. Uh, He's a Tron guy, though, so we, like, I'm sure this doesn't happen very often for him. So he's probably going to milk this for all it's worth, I assume. Yeah. There is a Renegade map. We're going to play a, you know, we don't have anything back with this. You know what? We're just going to see. We're not even going to give him the luxury. Not even going to give this guy the luxury of, uh. Of being able to uh, kill us. Alright, what do we want? What do we not want? We probably don't want the Sanctum Gargoyle. I think we want the rest of it though. I don't really know what we would board out. I'll, t I'll board in... Hmm. One Fragment Dies? No, you know what? I'm going to try to get this guy with the Mana Tithe. I have a feeling I can get a Rolling Earth or a Rolling Thunder with a Mana Tithe, and it's going to be sick. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's going to be. Big time, big time. I don't think any else, anything else of this is very good. Yeah, these guys are sweet. I really just want to be able to, to do something with them, though. Man, we were close to killing them that game on a Mold of 5. I would like to play first. Uh, Sand is okay. I'm going to keep... 
I don't think I can mulligan this hand. We do have a one drop play. This is the matchups where like Thraben Inspector just feels so bad. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta play them. Tron piece into expedition map. Swift water cliffs, sure. There is a Cantless Gears Rebel. So. I'm just going to play this. Hmm. Probably just crack the clue, I guess. Yeah, probably fine. Prophetic Prism. Yep. This is the game we draw lands, eh? Alright. I'll play this thing. Hmm. The problem here is we don't have double white, which is kind of an issue. Hmm. Just do that. There's a Salivating Gremlins, which is like pretty decent. There's a Renegade map. So I'm definitely playing this Renegade map. Of like when I do it, though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Play the Salivating Gremlins, I guess. Hopefully this just gets countered. It does not. Okay. And this Renegade map. So this is going to allow me... Do you get my stuff killed this turn? No, just regular Forbidden Alchemy. It's probably going to have Tron, but I am going to get to deal him a decent amount of damage next turn. There's Tron. At least he uses the same pitcher. Those are my favorite Tron players. They're the guys who... They think they're, like, so smart that, like, nobody in the world has ever done it before them. The, like... I would have used all different Tron pieces. It's going to be sick. Like, no, you, nobody cares. Like, nobody cares. No one's falling for your tricks. All right, countless gears, renegade. Let's get a trigger. Crack this guy. He has the lightning bolt. What a surprise. So you're going to go for the attack here. And I'll just play out another Origins. No. Leave up the Galvanic Blast. The Origins spell bomb can be used. I'm not going to be able to crack it and be able to attack with it anyways. So... I can always just use it to like trigger something like um, another Salivating Gremlins or a Reckless Fireweaver. So we're just gonna fire this Galvana Blast off at his head. We need to draw a land here. That's a land. Three, four, twelve. This is currently lethal. With the flashbacks, so let's see if it works. Uh, 
This is nine. This is 13 exactly. So he has to have a bunch of stuff here. So we have to flash it back. His pulse of Marassa. We'll just flash it back, I guess. He has the counter for this one, I assume. Goosely flicker. Okay. This is going to be hmm, electrostatic bolt. Okay. This is 15 damage. Four cards in hand. We just please kill him. Ah, uh, this game's over. I assume I'm just dead. Uh, Forbidden Alchemy is a good good sign for me, I guess, but he still has infinite mana. Three, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Yeah. These lands are a good idea to be made legal and common, eh? Ninth edition ones, too. These are just god awful. God awful. We were so close, too. Bunch of mole drifters. Mnemonic wall. What's he bringing back with that? I assume electrostatic bolt. Three mana up, two. Brought back ghostly flicker, I can only assume. Salivating gremlins. Three cards in hand. This ghostly flicker is not going to be very fun to deal with at all. Oh, we got that pulse of Marasa. That sucks. Salivating gremlins. Uh, I think I want to save this origin spell bomb, I guess, to, for some pumps, but I can only assume that Mr. Salivating Gremlins is just dead. I could have journeyed to know where the mnemonic wall there, but. Swiftwater Cliffs. Mole Drifter. Prophetic Prism. Still has seven mana because Tron is dumb. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Swiftwater so Cliffs line for the turn goes the na is the ten and step. There's the mana tithe. Maybe that gets us out of this spot. I highly doubt it though. We will see though. Maybe we can get a mana tithe win. That would be sweet. Hydro Blast. Well, we can't manatize that one. And we drew an Ancient Den. That's certainly a decent draw. Hmm. We're going to play it here. 
We're in a journey to nowhere. This is all just a whole bunch of uselessness. This game is over. Somehow it was four cards in hand. Get in there. Take two, go down to eight. Maybe he maxes out a rolling thunder. That's like really all we can hope for here. What is this? Oh, flashback for Ben Alchemy. Flashback, mystical teachings. Do I want to counter this? I don't think that's how I win the game. Let's see what he goes and gets. Any electricery. That is basically game. Yeah, I don't know if there was anything we could have done differently here. Um, Tron is a good deck. It's unfortunate that's a good deck because I like to make fun of it. I will definitely say this. Tron players suck more than blue-black players. So if you're a Tron player out there, I just want you to know you suck big time. Forbidden Alchemy with flashback because, you know, why not? Why not? Hmm. Where'd he grab? I guess it doesn't tell us. A mole drifter. Yeah. The worst part about all of this is he has electricery with two mana. Ah, man. That sucks. Maybe he plays... Oh, it doesn't matter. He has a million mana. He's just going to wait on it, too. Just just doesn't care. Knows we have nothing. Oh, uh, man. I think we're just dead, unfortunately. He got that electricery. He just fired off whenever he wants. This is a useless card. Yeah, well, we couldn't beat the Tron Menace, unfortunately. We're going to have to concede. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you back here for round number two. This is Aether Artifact Amigos. I'm Austin. Make sure you check us out online, www.themanabase.com, and make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you back here for round number two.